and you are now on the stream. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm Welcome a woo. Back. Oh, that's Walsk. No, go, go for it. Yeah, hi, I'm Walsk. <laughs> Welcome back. We got a run up next with a woo doing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Yep. Hi, I'm a woo, and you're watching Disney. I mean, uh, Final Kingdom Hearts Fan Game Marathon run. Oh, don't get us DMCA. No, of course not. I would never. I would never. <laughs> All right. Hi, everybody. I hope everyone's been enjoying the marathon so far. There's been some really fun runs. I've been watching, preparing, waiting, lurking. <laughs> Excited to show everyone Kingdom Hearts. Um, this is one of my favorite games ever. Uh, it's a super, super cool action game. Uh, you may know it for things such as uh, Winnie the Pooh's soul leaving his body, or... Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? You know, things like that. The, the, the important stuff. But this game is actually, like, a super in-depth action game with a ton of different, like, moves and options and stuff that you may or may not have used if you played this game, like, say, when you were younger, where you just mashed the X button. <laughs> um... So we're currently figuring out a little snafu with uh, the commentary, but we've got uh, Mikan here uh, to Hello. commentate Hello. with me. Oh, don't worry about me. You can start. Hi. <laughs> all right. Also, um, also, I finished. I am all connected. Nice. Okay. Uh, so the only thing I want to point out um, before I start is that little window above uh, the box that has my name in it. That is going to be the tracker. There'll be some very useful information that I'll get more into during the run there, but it will help you keep track of the worlds I've been to, what I've gotten there, and some other cool stuff later. So without further ado, I'm ready to start whenever. Are we Are we good to go? Yep. All right, so time will begin in three, two, one, go. All right, so- Yeah, good luck. Immediately at the start of the run, you're, there's going to be the part where you would originally uh, pick a weapon, which doesn't matter which one you pick, because uh, everything's randomized. Um, chests, level up abilities, everything is randomized. And a big major difference you may notice immediately from base Kingdom Hearts 2 is that we are in a sort of hub world here. Um, you can go to any world in any order and... Um, oh god. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you can go to any world in any order, and regardless of your uh, level or anything, so you can take it, it changes the game from kind of almost like a slightly railroaded thing to more open world. Yeah, it's basically an open world game. Okay, so we've got one of every uh, drive ability here, and scan to start. Uh, so we're going to be starting by going to the Pride Lands, which is originally the last world you unlock in the game. Um, but we, we're just going to go there first, because, you know... Lion Saur is really cute. Uh, but no, so the way we're going to be routing the worlds we go through in this uh, game is basically how we can make, make each world faster throughout. Oh no, I uh, already goofed up a little bit. So this fight uh, with these two guys, we're basically, we basically get one shot if we get touched at all. Normally I have a setup to get a reaction command immediately, which will make this encounter way easier, but instead I had to just kind of deal with it either way. We got really lucky with the party members distracting this guy, so we didn't have to do anything too crazy, and we also didn't die, so that's nice. Definitely heartless. Definitely heartless. Gotta say, definitely heartless. Uh, <laughs> so no, um, we're going to Pride Lands first because you start basically as fast as you can be. Uh, Lion Sora has separate movement abilities from Sora in uh, his human form. So basically we can collect abilities and movement abilities that we can use to make the rest of the run faster. Um, I love turtle goofy spinning, it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, your, your, uh, your party members, thanks to Donald's magic, which is the canon reason, uh, you to not like mess with the world the order, you have to like disguise yourself as inhabitants of the world. <laughs> That's like actual lore. Uh, so yeah, um, Pride Lands is really good because not only uh, do you start at max uh, capacity pretty much, aside from stats, 
Uh, you also um, have a ton of free checks to grab without any kind of required fights besides the first one, which again, there's a really consistent setup to do it super easily. Um, so we don't really have to worry about dying or anything, and there's just a bunch of free items to grab. We can get a bunch of movement abilities, spells, uh, things that will help us uh, later on. Uh, so let me just... Uh, my tracker is not tracking, which I was worried about, um, but now it's good. So uh, you'll see on the tracker that uh, because we got fire here, that it is now on the Pride Lands world, which is the little icon with the lion over there. So you can see we got fire here, um, and those checks that get put on the tracker are important checks. Um, there is 61 total uh, tracked in the rando, and there's certain categories where you can where your goal is to collect every important check. This is not one of those runs. We are just trying to collect uh, a proof of peace, a proof of non-existence, and a proof of connection, which will then let us beat the final boss. So here we're gonna cheer. I don't want to find the proof of non-existence. Uh, yeah, we. It's better that we don't worry about that one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and equip some abilities here. I'm gonna be menuing after every party member joins to uh, take all their items from them because they're very irresponsible with them and they're better used on Sora. Um, well, I missed the chest. I was about to. <laughs> All right, so after, now that we're done with the Pride Lands, uh, we should not have to go back there unless we get a hint telling us to go there, which uh, hints are going to be things we get later on. Uh, they're called Secret Ansem's Reports, uh, which that information will be present on the tracker. Um, so Disney Castle is the next world. Again, a, this is a world where we can pretty easily get not only a lot of checks, but also uh, some experience so we can start leveling up. Um, and it's another world that has a lot of easy access items with not a lot of commitment. Uh, which is generally what we're looking for early game. So see there, we got a uh, Ansem's report that told us Twilight Town has six important checks. So we know for the future that Twilight Town, when we go there, will have important checks like spells, summons, drive forms, or the three proofs. Uh, so now we are going into a hallway fight with uh, Minnie Mouse. And she has this super big blast uh, reaction command, which is really nice for getting enemies away. And our goal is to escort her to the end. And we could use the reaction command to call her over, but instead, no, that's pretty slow, so we're just going to push her out of the... <laughs> we're push just going to push her. Push the mouse. Push the mouse. Push the mouse. So uh, we can push her along this wall. Uh, sometimes you have to use a reaction command if enemies crowd around, but... So goofy, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you can just push her along the wall. And it's a lot faster than um, just calling her over. Which we're going to see more of the, the call reaction command here. In this hallway full of dudes! You have this super long hallway and there's just a ton of big guys throughout. Like. Where's the security in this castle? <laughs> Are there no guards or anyone to help? This hallway is huge. How many guards would you need? Uh, I don't know, like... Need like 40 guards just to protect this, this <laughs> rug to the front. Yeah, it's like, what are we doing with all this empty space? Uh, so yeah, this room, uh, we're gonna be escorting Minnie through these giant enemies. Uh, they give 45 experience per, which is pretty good for this point. We should get like one or two levels off of killing enemies. But our main goal is obviously to escort Mini. Um, I believe if we get hit by any of these guys, they'll one-shot us. So we want to use the Faith Reaction Command to prevent that from happening, pretty much. Okay, just one more. One more column will be at the throne. And I'm so sad seeing that money orb there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> does money play a big part in this? Um, money does play a pretty important role because we use money to buy ethers, which are, uh, as you'll see when we get more spells, super duper important. Um, and there's also items called the money pouches. There's two of them in the game that give you um, 
5,000 money each. Which will usually be- one of them will usually be able to buy you enough ethers to last the entire game. Found ice cream? I hope everyone goes and gets ice cream now. Not get, now, after the run. Yeah, get, get some ice cream after the run. Y'all deserve it. It's summer. It's hot. You're probably melting right now. Just like ice cream. Pete's angry. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this fight is really easy. Um, so, Pete, uh, unfortunately here, does not have any way to break out of our combos. So we can just do these one-two air combos and just completely uh, destroy him. <laughs> But it, it can get kind of scary if, if he, like, breaks out, because you have to do the reaction command, knock him on his face, then start it up again, and if you drop it, you can uh, totally uh, accidentally uh, miss, drop it enough times where you die to probably the easiest boss in the game, and I definitely didn't do that in practice. No, 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 why would I ever do that? I've never seen you mess that up in my life. Never. Especially not, like, three hours ago. No, why, why would that have happened? Ugh. Honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, so that ice cream and that beast's claw we got, um, those are important uh, because those unlock the second, or for Twilight Town, third visits uh, to certain worlds. Um, so having the beast claw means that we can do the second visit in the story for um, Beast Castle, which has some different checks from the first time. So we're going to die here. Uh, you know, I just... These fights uh, have some pretty high-level enemies, and you're allowed to die, uh, which is way faster than actually fighting them, especially at my level. Uh, considering this is like usually like a level 20, 23 area. But you know, I'm level 8. Uh, you know, I'm working my way up. And we got Finishing Leap there. Finishing Leap is a very good ability. Oh, no experience. Let me put that on real quick. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> um... So we're going to be collecting a lot of these abilities throughout the game. It might be a lot to keep up with, but I'll try my best to, to keep everyone up to date on what I'm getting. Aladdin here is my best friend. Uh, okay. I'm pressing the d-pad one too many times. <laughs> it's because he has a lot of potions on him. Uh, he has two ethers. Oh. Which is tied for the most of any party member. Wow. Uh, with another friend we're going to be meeting soon. Uh, there's some party members that only have potions, which make me sad, but yeah, ethers are the most important item for sure in this run. Because a lot of ways to not only survive and handle uh, critical mode, which is the difficulty we're playing on, uh, uh, also our ethers are also used to cast a lot of spells, restore the RMP, make fights go a lot faster. And we can generally be a lot more lenient with our mana usage and have to worry about managing it a lot less. But Kingdom Hearts 2 is really cool in that there's a lot of ways to heal and restore your uh, HP and MP without necessarily um, using items. So you don't need to rely on ethers if you have certain other tools at your disposal. Which, uh, I'll say it a lot during this run, that's one of my favorite things about uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, is just... You can play the game in so many different ways, and there's... Basically every single tool you get is good. Uh, right there we got the Feather Charm, which is our first summon. Um, I'm trying to... Okay, well... <laughs> that sucks. Uh, this room can be pretty oh, tough. No. Uh, death one, you know. It happens. But now I know that uh, I just need to grab this. Uh, let me jump over that. Oh, okay, he homed in on me. Rude. Uh -oh. um, yeah, I'm just gonna come back to that later. Oh my god, I think I got caught on the ledge. Unforge. Yeah, this room is really hard, um, depending on the route you take through it, because there's a lot of these uh, enemies that spawn in and just completely wreck you. They'll shoot projectiles, and then they'll home in on you. You want to move across this middle section here, because that, for some reason, makes some of them not spawn or despawn. I've got the feather charm. We're out of there. Nice. We're out of there. It seems a little, a little difficult in the 3D space to like be accurate with your landings on those platforms. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to it. Yeah, uh, the movement, the movement in this game generally is like, it, it's surprisingly precise a lot of the time. Like generally, we'll be using the uh, aerial dodge and the glide to move really fast, 
Uh, proof of connection, hey. Wow. That's one of the three proofs we need to beat the game. Agrippa is always nice to me. Do those. you need anything to beat the game besides the proofs? Uh, depending on how many abilities you personally need to right. uh, beat the final boss, uh, no. You really okay. just need <laughs> the three proofs. Gotcha. And then it becomes a skill issue. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, how little can you get away with fighting the final bosses with? Mm -hmm. uh, and like, it, it's very much possible to beat them without like anything. But it's very hard and also very time consuming that way. Yeah, so, I imagine. So generally we want to avoid that. There's a few abilities that we'll be looking out for. Uh, the scimitar is uh, unlocks a second visit to Agrabah, by the way. Um, there's a few abilities you want to be looking out for in preparation for endgame specifically. Uh, those are Berserk Charge. And uh, we already got the Feather Charm, which is another one that's really important for endgame. Uh, Another really clutch ability is limit f or uh, check, I guess, is limit form, which is super useful for the end game as well, and just really anything in general. And of course, the the infamous reflect. <laughs> this is a silly mini game, by the way. Yeah, so uh, these mini games are sped up for the randomizer. Hundred Acre Wood is the mini game world. It's present in most Kingdom Hearts games, and sometimes it's different forms. Uh, you know, in some games it's a Monopoly board, and in some games it's, you know, this. Uh, there's, <laughs> takes a lot of different formats. In, in some games it's freaking, you have a puzzle-like game. I know there's a, there's a, I, I don't remember what it's called. The, the Kingdom Hearts 3 one? The one with Lumpy? Oh no, not Lumpy. Oh man. <laughs> Watch out. I thought, I thought I'd get out of here without listening to Lumpy. Oh jeez. <laughs> All right, uh, so <laughs> I should probably explain what I'm doing right now. Right now, uh, the way I'm going through these worlds is I'm doing what is referred to as the, the shotgun phase of the run, where we will go into a world and we're gonna just grab the like first room or two of checks that are really easy to get with no required fights that could have important stuff that'll help us for our uh, deeper dives into worlds. I see. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. What, like, determined the order of worlds you were going to oh, when, there's you didn't really, when you didn't really have a whole lot of, like, direction yet? Yeah, so there's, there's a few... Like, there's, like, a, a, a few that you always do first, and then it slowly branches out from there. Yeah, so my typical route is um, Pride Lands, Disney Castle, and depending on how much movement I have, I'll either go to the Shotgun Worlds or Agrabah next. I had a lot of movement this time, specifically Glide, so I went to Agrabah, and then I went to the shotgun phase, um, which again, is basically just preparation for saying, hey, I'm gonna go deeper into these worlds. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this this is just a little mini game here. There's a red block that's spinning. You have to hit it to finish your combo. <laughs> um. So yeah, um, we're going to be visiting Space Paranoids, a Hundred Acre Wood, and Land of Dragons in this phase, ending in Halloween Town. Um, Halloween Town is incredible for the experience it gives you. Um, just being really... The party member you get in Halloween Town is has an incredibly broken uh, ability that helps us get a lot of easy experience. Um, but yeah, Land of Dragons, we're only going to come to the first room for a while. Um, but we might be coming back here later. Got Cure. It's not as good as it sounds, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Much better in the first game, I feel. Yes, uh, Cure got super nerfed from Kingdom Hearts 1, um, in this game. In Kingdom Hearts 1, it took 1 MP. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2, it eats up your entire MP bar. <laughs> and puts you into MP recharge. Which, you don't want. Also, I'm gonna set, uh, my party members on a specific setting here. To Sora attack. Um, it's just very helpful for the next few worlds we're going to be going through. So, uh... Oh no! I died! Oh, terrible. Oh no. Now we take another intentional death at the start of this world just so that we can pretty easily uh, get out of that fight. I see you picking up a lot of... Um 
crafting materials. Is that does that kind of play a part in this, or is that like part of the randomized? Um, you can randomize synthesis in the pool, um, but it it's one of the things that will add a lot of time. I feel uh, synthesis. Yeah. It's also interesting because it gives you a full list of all of the important checks that are in it right away. So you know when you um. When you uh, add synthesis, it's like, okay, it's probably going to be a longer run, but also it gives you a lot of, like, choice in, like, it makes your junk checks useful, and also, like, you can be like, oh, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, ancestor, sort of the ancestor there. That means I might do Land of Dragon sooner, because I can get the crafting materials for that easily. It's neat in that way. So anyways, this is uh, our first limit. This is a uh, dance call. Dance call is incredible. It's so strong, gives you full iframes throughout, as every um, limit will. Um, and it just does insane amounts of damage. These enemies are other enemies that would one-shot us normally, but because we get full iframes in the entirety of dance call, we just... Dang, we... Jack's pretty good. Yeah, no, J and Jack also has two ethers, which we wow, what a pal. which very conveniently we use in that fight for, in uh, Halloween Town. So he's just super nice. Ooh, once more. Okay, once more is um, one of two abilities, uh, like combat abilities that are important checks. Once more lets you survive on one HP from taking a combo of attacks. Oh, yeah, that's really just... good. That's really good when things like hit destroy you in two hits anyway yeah uh on critical mode once more and second chance are invaluable they are so helpful uh, let's just go ahead and do some abilities here damage control is useless blizzard and thunder boost uh, do as they say combo boost is a ability that uh increases damage of your combo by uh how many hits it has which is nice also i want to check my keyblades because i have an air combo plus keyblade that i'm not really down for let's see Blizzard boost sounds great. Shadow archive plus these plus um, these plus accessories that and armor that we'll be seeing, um, those are really nice because they give they're the only equipment that gives you abilities besides the draw ring. So the shadow archive I believe gives you MP rage. Oh, is it displayed on them? Uh, yeah. So if you look here, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, restore MP when damage is taken. Uh, Oh, it's just listed down the text, okay? Yeah, that's the only way to know that those actually have abilities. I have got 100 Acre Wood has five. And uh, this brings up another uh, important thing about the tracker. So you see how the Twilight Town number next to it is six, and the 100 Acre Wood next to it is a yellow five. The reason that number is yellow instead of gray is because... Twilight Town is a hinted world where we got another hint. And if I can, I'm going to try to explain this as best I can, but I might not do the greatest job. So when we, in a world that is hinted, get another hint, the world that is hinted from that report uh, is a higher, basically has a higher chance of having a proof. Because reports that uh, for worlds that have proofs will always be hinted. Uh, so it's not very useful information right now, but later on when we have like every or close to every Ansem's report, seeing those yellow numbers on the tracker is a lot more valuable. Oh, we got Thunder. All right. Ooh. So it's kind of like metagaming the hint system because of them always being required. Yes, because, because we know that proofs have know. to be in a hinted world, um, we can... Um, we can use that information to help route later on. Say, oh, this world, like, if there's two different worlds we're torn between checking, we have like half the Ansem's reports. We're probably gonna wanna prioritize um, yellow numbered worlds unless um, we have a very good reason to not. All right, so this is another fight we're gonna die. Um, oh no, Sora. There's been a lot of those, I know. <laughs> But uh, there's not too many more of those required deaths. Um, or not required, uh, intentional deaths. I don't know if now's a good time, but you were talking earlier about 
second visits. So kind of in the 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 base game, you'd clear a world, and then later in the game, you would come back to it and like get more story stuff and more areas opened up like that. But in this game, those are they've like created items to lock those second visits quote to uh, access those extra areas. Yeah, pretty much. Also, we just got a second proof. Uh, oh, wow, wow. So we are two thirds. We have two thirds of the requirements for beating the game at the moment. <laughs> uh, it's pretty early in the run to have two proofs, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're like close to beating the game. Happy 23 minutes, everyone. <laughs> I know, I know. All right, so here I'm, I should probably be using magnet here. I forgot that I had it. So yeah, um, we we have two proofs, yes, but that third proof could also be deep in a world that we can't really do much in early. So it's not like, oh my god, we're almost done with the game, because we're not really. Um, if we get a ton of really good abilities and also those proofs, then now we're talking. But stats also play a pretty big part in things right now and you can also see my stats at any given point in time i would say end game stats are around 35 35 we're currently at uh nine strength and 22 uh, magic yep yeah, i think it's i think it's super interesting that the level ups like the bonuses you get from leveling up are in the randomized pool. That's that's interesting to me. I like that. Yeah, it's it's really neat, and it's also really neat because um, uh, a really popular way to play Kingdom Hearts Two is uh, level one, and level up, level ups on uh, or level up abilities being in the pool means that if you play a level one randomizer, you can like technically have a lot of abilities that you shouldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can still get them. Yeah, but still like have the really low stats. Alright. Uh, and yes, this is the PC port. We are playing the PC version of, of this um, on the Epic Games Store. Uh, you can buy the full 1.5 plus 2.5 collection uh, there, as well as really every game in the series. Except for... <laughs> and, and the ones you can't play are in movie format. <laughs> Good old Kingdom Hearts. Yep. I love... 0.2 final chapter prologue. I love the naming scheme of the games. Oh my god. Alright, Halloween is there... Town has three. Ooh. Um, is there a maximum level where checks beyond that are not randomized? Uh yes, that's fifty. So, 50. At, so at level fifty, that means we have all the we have guaranteed to have all the important level up checks. Gotcha. Also, we got another torn page and a hint from that. I'm gonna go into Port Royal now. Uh, Port Royal is a bit of a scary world. There's a lot of places you can die here. Um, some pretty costly deaths too, but you can get a lot of experience. Um, and generally you want to come here when you have like good magic abilities. Like right now I have basically, I have every magic spell, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we also have a few blizzard boosts and thunder boosts to help us out along with it. Which will be super helpful. Um, also, shoutouts to the uh, PS2 version of this song. <laughs> if you've heard it, then you know. Oh no, does something have to get changed? Uh, no, the PS2 version of the song is uh, this song, but MIDI. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As the entire soundtrack of the original PS2 version was. It was basically MIDI soundtrack. Awesome. And uh, this that track is uh, got hit pretty bad by the fact that it's a MIDI. Alright, so having Magnet. Magnet is a super good spell to have for these mob fights. Oh, I didn't equip Finishing Leaf. Oh no. Um, because we can, um, or no, I did? Yeah, okay. I have Finishing Plus, just not Finishing Leaf. Okay, um, gonna want to reflect. Okay, no. <laughs> these, uh, these cannon enemies can be pretty annoying. They can either shoot a fireball at you, um, or they can shoot a fireball into the air that will later come down and hit you. So, um, they can be kind of tough because you either have to, you have to like pretty much guess if you they're not in your line of sight. And we also only have level one magnet, which is not too far reaching. Um, but now that I have finishing leap equipped, magnet finishing leap is a great combo. 
um, because of an ability called Finishing Plus. Um, Magnet typically counts as a combo finisher, which means you can't do any other combo moves after it. I'm uh, going to want to reflect this. Uh, reflect oh, this so as well. The finishing Plus is boost Magnet, always. Uh, yeah, so Finishing Plus means you can do another finisher after your initial finisher, which means you can do Magnet into either a Magic Spell finisher or a uh, combo finisher gotcha. which pairs really well with a uh, finishing leap and another one that we'll get later maybe is explosion uh, i love explosion explosion oh, like all those all yeah. those explosions but that's not explosion it's not explosion unfortunately i love explosion all right I know These... a couple things about this game. Thanks for inviting me, by the way, even though I don't know anything about this game. Of course, I I, I appreciate <laughs> it. I thought it would be really nice having someone who can, like, you know, watch from the perspective of a less experienced player or someone who hasn't even, like... I, I don't know if you've played this game or not, but... I have. I played this game casually when it came out, but I've never really watched the randomizer that much. Yeah, so just, just someone who, like, has a perspective that can, like, ask questions and, like... Because I've played this so much that I don't know what all is, like, like some stuff that is, like, you know, ingrained in my brain as normal might not be, like, people might be saying, oh, why did you do that? Um, it's great having someone who can, like, ask questions and, you know, help other people learn more about the randomizer. Because this game is, if there's one thing I want to emphasize with me playing this game is I want to show everyone how freaking cool Kingdom Hearts 2 is. Because... Dang. What a cool game. This game is freaking awesome. All right, so here we have a one minute auto scroller fight, um, lovingly referred to as the minute fight. Uh, <laughs> and this fight, uh, I got greedy and used a potion there. I unfortunately oh, no. took damage when I was opening the chest. So uh, let me try to not this time. Yeah. So these pirate enemies don't take damage in the shade. Is that right? Uh, correct. So these, yeah, these pirate enemies in the shade, they are completely immune. Unless, unless they're skeletal, they are immune to damage. And then they're super weak to magic. So typically I don't come here until I have blizzard. Um, thunder is acceptable, but it, it doesn't like hit, pierce through enemies like blizzard does. Yeah, that piercing looks super useful here. Yeah. And then this fight is really good at getting money as well. It's like a great early source of money. And it's a great early source of experience. Um, there's an ability called Experience Boost, which I unfortunately don't have, but is really useful here. Um, it boosts your experience by uh, double or triple if you have two. Um, and, okay, let me dodge heck? roll. Yeah. So basically, you get a minute to grind EXP. You yeah. Just, you, know, like, you, don't, you can't make this faster. It's pretty much just as much as you can get money and experience donuts yep and it's it's really great for that but it also can be risky because these these guys with the crossbows are always going to be shooting at you and like there uh typically there's a reaction command to return the the shot at them but sometimes they're too far out of range for the reaction command to pop up <laughs> so you can end up um oh no i missed okay and they did kind of like just hanging out in that shade area yeah, um, so if you're too far away from the spawn point, you can get caught by a lot of those um, shots um, and just killed. And if you're experience boosting, it can be really costly. <laughs> Did those pirates just leave after you walked in and out? Uh, yeah, so you can just you can just uh, run away from those encounters, essentially. Okay, this is bad. Um, I kind of need to find an opportunity to use a potion here. There we go. So yeah, luckily I have enough Blizzard boost and magic stat to one-shot these guys with Blizzard. It gets pretty tough if you can't. Um, uh, I'm just gonna thunder you because I don't have a good line of sight here. Oh no, there's a bomb! <laughs> they threw oh, no, a bomb! A bomb. <laughs> that's, that can happen, yeah. Watch out, Sora, a bomb. I just, I just did not see the bomb at all. That's, you know what, well played, well played, dude. <laughs> yeah, another nice thing about these pirates is that they can drop ethers, um, which it's really nice if you get ether drops. It's not super likely, but 
It's a great help if you do get them. All right, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach because you're start by running at me, so I'm just gonna reflect you and say no to that. So I don't have to worry about trying to heal later. Okay. Pop an ether. This is this is one of the fights that is really ether hungry. If you're not like getting What's a that lot. What's guy of... doing? Um, oh no, I missed. I was hoping to get both of them. Okay. Now I'm just pull back a bit because they're gonna be in the shade. Okay. Thank God I got the lock on there. Oh, watch out for their prancing attack. Yeah, this fight can be kind of stressful if you're getting one shot like I am right now. Come out here. Okay, there we go. Not the smoothest, but uh, Port Royal is pretty hard um, with low defense. It's like, yeah, you can one-shot everything, but they also one-shot you. So it's like, good luck. <laughs> when you pick up, like, strength up or magic ups or something, do you you don't usually, like, use them right away, right? Um, I just use them when I, bit. mostly when I use up my AP boosts. Um, usually single ones don't matter too much. Right, I'm going to reflect this just so it doesn't get in the way later. This barrel game can actually be surprisingly deadly if those cannon enemies uh, get an unfortunate... Uh... It can just get kind of rough if you don't have um, Reflect for those cannon bombs, because again, they just drop on you after a set time. So other stuff can get you while you're waiting for the bomb to drop. And those flying reflect, cars. Reflect does a little more than you might assume from the name. It doesn't just like reflect stuff. It makes you like completely immune to damage. Is that right? Yes, it makes you completely immune. To, it is a full body block while it's active, and then it does damage based on your magic stat, not the not the attack that you took. Oh, okay. Like around you once the duration ends. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and there's some reflect is pretty. Probably, it's probably the most broken spell in the entire Kingdom Hearts series. <laughs> um, and yet somehow it doesn't trivialize the difficulty of this game, even still. It's uh, it's kind of surprising how well balanced this game is, despite how many broken options you have. Yeah, the <laughs> MP working how it works, where you have the bar and then you have to wait for it to fill back up and then you can't do anything else during the reflect time. I think that's a fairly fair balance. Yeah, yeah, And like, even ethers, they won't fully restore your MP. Um, all right, also, uh, I, I just want y'all to watch this. Oh no, uh, all right, come on. Get into, get out of the, get out of the sun, or the moon. All right, what, hello? Oh no, wait, does this not? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. We're sending him to the moon! <laughs> there he goes! Goodbye! Goodbye, Barbosa! Goodbye, See you Barbosa. later! <laughs> I was very confused at why it wasn't launching him at first. Um, that's the, what I like to call the Barbosa Space Program. Not coined by me, but by one of my friends who also plays Kingdom Hearts 2 Randomizer. Um, yeah, that is freaking funny. I love, <laughs> I love that strat. Um, the, the reason it works is because Thunder likes to pop enemies up, um, as you may notice, uh, and it also stuns pirates. So when you combine the two, he gets stunned while he's ascending, pretty much. Oh no, the defense system knocked him out of the way of my blizzard. He doesn't know how to descend. <laughs> no, he just, he just goes bye-bye. All right, so looking at my, I'm trying to figure out which world I want to go to next. I think I might go to Twilight Town next. Oh no, I already went to Twilight Town. I'll go to Beast Castle. Um, an interesting thing about Twilight Town is we got four of the important checks there already. Um, we only have access to the third visit and not the second, which means we can't get to the second visit yet. But it's not even that worth it because we only know there's two important checks. So... We might want to go somewhere else where we'd normally super prioritize Twilight Town because of the hint. Um, unfortunately, the Halloween Town hint just told us there's nothing more left, which is quite reassuring because the, the later visits of Halloween Town can be pretty time consuming. Um, so that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a good sign. At this point, I would prefer, you know, ideas as opposed to ruling out possibilities as far as my hints go, but it's it's pretty chill as it is. 
Okay. Dual stance is a great reaction command. <laughs> I'm glad I get to use it. Oh. Uh, you just you just have a samurai duel with the the samurai. Oh, the gate. Protect the gates. I will. I did it. I protected the gates. Yeah, thanks. No Oogie Boogie. Sadly, no Ooh, Oogie Boogie. Star Seeker. I love Star Seeker. I love Star Seeker too. It's my favorite keyblade. Let's find out if it's good. Oh, I want to see if it's good. This is your favorite. This is my favorite part of every Grando. Finding out if your favorite keyblade is good. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, ooh, seven five oh. form boost. I don't have a form yet. I might use this. I like the seven magic stat. Our my magic stat is ridiculous right now, by the way. Thirty two. <laughs> it is a thirty two. Which means anything we can use magic against will be very good. Also, let me check this. Oh, Flare Force. Okay. I was I should have checked that at the beginning of the game. Um, but, so, Flare Force is an ability that can be randomly on Donald's level ups or whatnot. Um, and it gives you access to the limit ability Duck Flare, which is... Is that, is that the rocket one? Yes, it is the probably the best limit in the game. Also, we're, I'm gonna die here. I was gonna try to kill them, but then I realized uh, that Magna is slow, and I was just going to die. It was inevitable. All right, I think I can actually start equipping armor now because I, I think I've done all the in intentional deaths that I'm going to be taking for now. It's always funny to me when you get like 30 minutes, 40 minutes into an RPG and the speedrunner says, oh, I should put armor on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes look, sometimes it's just not worth it, and sometimes it's better to just die. That's not real life advice. I guess, I guess, yeah. When you have to take some intentional, intentional fails, yeah, it makes sense not to put it on. Oh, right speaking away. of armor, I got the grand ribbon, which is like probably the best armor piece, like individual armor piece for defense. This is this is one of the games where you want resistances over defense, and ribbon has like thirty percent in every resistance. All right, let me just go ahead and put that on because I don't have a shock charm plus, which is the only armor I would equip over that. Ooh, Trinity Limit. That's pretty good. Um, I might actually equip that right now. I might actually use it in this next fight. Hold on. All right. Now we're going to push a wardrobe. I'm going to try to do this time. while I drink water. This game has so many weird little events you have to do. It's really, it's really funny. Yep. And uh, Rando changes this, but uh, normally she like wakes up while you're pushing her, so you have to like stop. Oh yeah. I honestly liked it because I got to um, grab those chests during the time she w woke up, and it's a like really neat little optimization. But all right, this is Thresholder. Uh, this guy is rude, uh, and is definitely the reason why going here early can suck. Um, because those gargoyle enemies are going to just cause lots of problems for you if you don't deal with them. Um, and if your stats are low, then um, you're going to have a bad time. So I'm going to want to use this Bat Cry Reaction Command to just do boatloads of damage. Uh, and just after the second release, we can finish them off. Um, yeah, that fight, that fight can be rough. Again, if you have low defense oh, wow. or not a lot of stats. Those gargoyles can just kill you. Thresholder himself just shoots a few projectiles and waves his arms around. Nothing too threatening, but... That's what I do. <laughs> isn't, isn't that the truth? We should all learn from Thresholder. <laughs> it's not very threatening, though. It's true. Well... I mean, apparently it's threatening if you have low stats. Yeah, just have, don't have low defense, though. Yeah. If you have high stats, then then don't be afraid of arm waving too much. Gosh, has the rando changed this event too? Uh, no, it is not. This is vanilla. Um, so if I had a bit more, if I had high jump equipped, I would be taking a little bit of a different route through this. I'm gonna try to do it anyways here. So because these guys take forever to move, um, I'm just gonna grab these treasure chests while they're climbing the stairs. I can't believe a candlestick and a teapot don't move any faster. Honestly. When I, see, when I ask for tea, my teapot sprints. <laughs> it's on the way in like a second. Well, that's just cracker. 
Thanks, Kraka. You're my favorite teapot. Even though I'm the one who laughs like a teapot. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we're just gonna be going through Beast Castle. There's nothing too interesting in Beast Castle. It's a it's a really early game world. This is typically the first world you actually go to. Um or No, I think it's Olympus. I don't actually remember the order. No, I think it's Beast Castle and then Olympus. Uh, in the original world order. Uh, let me just... Magnet. Thunder. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not thundering. <laughs> My magic stat's that high. Poor beast. Poor beast. It's okay, we're we're waking him up from his... Ooh, picture! Alright, speaking of Twilight Town. Picture unlocks the second visit to Twilight Town. So we can now go all the way to the end. There, if we want. Oh yeah, because you said you had the third one already, right? Yeah. Also, tragically, Beast is one of the party members that only has potions. That unlocks the mansion area? Um, yeah, the second visit is just one required fight, and then the third visit is the mansion. Gotcha. Which I don't think I'm quite ready for. Yeah, I, I really love this world, just in general. It's definitely one of my favorites. I really like just exploring it. I love the music. Beauty and the Beast is also just really good. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave at this point, because I... I mean, I could take... No, I'll take on the boss, actually. Who am I saying? I have 32 magic. What am I afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I gotta be more brave. So, hmm. The things I'm really looking for right now is, like, um, membership card to unlock Hollow Bastion's second visit. Um, more torn pages would be good so we can finish up, um... So we can finish up 100 Acre. Uh, considering we have a pretty strong hint for that area. And otherwise, um, after this I'll probably be going to Olympus, um, just to get that ch checked out. Um, one of these worlds has got to be holding out, because I don't actually have too much at the moment. Alright, so this boss, uh, he's kind of a, a rude little dude. He, he does not like, he's, or maybe he's not rude, he's just shy. He will be running away from us the whole time, uh, trying to sneak up on us. And, oh, that was a quick kill. I don't, I normally Yo, can't get a heck? finisher out of there. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, Thunder is really strong. <laughs> you don't even have, like, a Thunder Boost at all, do you? I, I think I have a, a Thunder Boost. Oh. Alright, so for this fight, I'm just going to use, uh, Twin Howl, which is Beast Limit. Duck Flare would probably do the same thing, if not better. Um, uh, but Beast Limit is really strong, and since limits scale off your magic, uh... Oh. Well. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Ukulele Charm. That is a really good thing to see. Um, I don't have experience boost, but Ukulele Charm, it gives Stitch, and Stitch is a really good summon. Oh, I got a blizzard. Um, this design looks a bit like Ganondorf, yeah. Um, let me think about this for a sec. Equip this draw... You killed Ganondorf? I'm sorry. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's go to Space Paranoids. I always save this world for a bit too late, I feel. Let me, I'll just make sure I don't have an experience boost Keyblade first. You save it because there's a really good EXP spot here. Yeah, so this, this is probably the best grinding spot in the game if you have experience boosts. I mean, even without experience boosts, it's amazing. Um, and with Stitch especially, it's incredible for getting levels. Because Stitch refills your MP at intervals? Yeah, Stitch refills your MP and prevents projectiles from hitting you. Um, yeah. And these enemies' main attacks are projectiles. And, uh, okay, let me just not die here. Um, magnet Finishing Leap is exceptionally useful here. As it oh, always it's, is. it's a timed thing, like the one in Port Royal was. Yes, um, gotcha. but you don't have to wait out the duration. You, if you don't want to do any sort of experience grinding or anything, you can just immediately rush um, freezing these three screens by grabbing uh, all the clusters, which drop from these guys. Which, uh, the clusters is why I equipped the uh, draw. Alright, so we're going to want summon Stitch here. Magnet Finishing Leap. Magnet. Finishing leap. And these, they all just spawn like in the magnet. 
So we can just kill like a ton of them all at once. And if, silly. if we're lucky, Stitch will keep restoring our MP and we can just basically repeat this forever. Um, it works oh. better if you have a higher level magnet, but it's pretty so good if you just stick range. in the corner. Yeah. Yo, Stitch licked you, but you got your MP back, so I guess that's yep. fine. It's a friendly lick. It's like when cats lick you. Is Stitch's tongue as rough as a cat's? Uh, I wonder. That's a good question. Probably. I don't remember what level we came in here at, but uh, we'll be a lot higher level uh, going out. Um. Alright, I'll do probably one more set. Uh, final one. Okay. Um, wait. Oh no, wait. I didn't mean to do Ohana. Oh no, wait, I'm gonna... Uh-oh. This is bad. Uh, well, the timer's still going down. So I did groove and Sora. Please, no! No! <laughs> I meant to dismiss! Oh, that's so sad. You got stuck rocking. You just, I was... you rock, you can't stop. Yeah, that is a little tragic, but it's okay. Y'all loved the warnings, right? Everyone is so happy about this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, this gets me six levels, so it's hard to, uh... It's hard to not do it. I would I would just say screw it and not, but those levels are really important. So like, <laughs> eh. It's a tough call. Oh, I understand why I couldn't freeze because I was normally that's not the last screen that I have. I think. Or no, I think I I think I'd already frozen that screen. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just I got I panicked because I couldn't freeze it. Well, it's okay. Do you feel aptly warned? Uh, now I do. I feel warned that uh, my actions have consequences, and so does my hubris. <laughs> Which are the important warnings. <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, so... I guess while we're doing this again, um, I actually I'm trying to think if I have anything to really that I haven't really mentioned yet that is important to mention. I'm not sure. I'm kind of leaving the corner a lot, which is making this a lot harder. I'm gonna go over here. Which which like super important? This will make the final boss so much easier. Things are you still looking out for? Um. Okay. So I'm still looking out for um. Final form is the main thing. Oh yeah, do you even have any forms yet? I do not have a single drive form yet. So drive forms, some drive forms would be good. Okay. And there's there checks on those as well, right? Because you can level them up. Uh, yes. Uh, every drive form level has a check, and there's uh, there's five drive forms, seven levels each. So. Goodness. Okay. Quite a good bit of checks from drive forms. Um, and drive form leveling is a pretty important part of leveling too, depending on. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on um, what forms you get and when you get them. Got a quick run level. That's pretty nice. Yeah, because they, they have to level up in a specific way. Yeah. It's not just, not just defeat any enemy. Yeah, so every form has a different way of gaining experience. So when you get a form can completely change the order you do a world in. Like Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I was wondering if there was like specific events like fight events that you put off in case because oh gosh final form would be amazing for the or master would be amazing for them yeah uh, typically the main ones are so wisdom and valor always have easy ways to grind them also i'm gonna i'm gonna show off duck flare here uh, so we're gonna see a lot of rockets um and i want you to look at the damage ideal when i press mega duck flare Uh, it's a little hard to use on this guy because he moves a lot. Um, uh, I'm gonna pop an ether. Oh, that's a potion. <laughs> Normally I don't have potions on. So then we're gonna duck flare again. Uh, we've hit an HP gate here, so probably just gonna click Mega there Duck Flare. He's still got the rocket chasing. Alright. 
Now we're gonna want to freeze again. Um, just do as much damage as we can before he unfreezes. Use another ether. Um, do I have a potion left? No, I don't. Okay, um... I was really hoping I could get back Donald. It's fine, though. Uh, when he stops, I should be able to thunder him. Yeah, okay. We're good. <laughs> yeah, the unfortunate part about Duck Flare is it requires Donald to be alive, and that's a hard ask sometimes. <laughs> uh, okay. So now we leave, and that is the first visit to Space Paranoids done with. It went pretty well. Uh, I think, like I said, I'm gonna go Olympus. Goofy has once more and second chance, let's go. I don't think I'm gonna equip either on him, but you know what? <laughs> Actually, no, it kind of would be useful to equip those on him because uh, having, they're useful for drive forms. Your party members are actually very useful in this game, even if they don't do anything. <laughs> it's it's important for them to be alive, even if they are not like actually useful in combat. Which yeah, yeah. in Kingdom Hearts One, they actually are pretty useful. Like, have you seen Goofy's damage when he's like super high level and has good equipment? Kingdom Hearts One. Pretty goofy. It is very goofy. Like Goofy could solo an entire boss fight if you give him enough time in that game. <laughs> actually kind of messed up. All but, I remember about Kingdom Hearts 1 Goofy is that MP gift is broken as heck. Oh yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1 Goofy is probably the best party member in any Kingdom Hearts game. I mean, Donald in this game comes pretty close because of Duck Flare. Also, good news, we have Kiraga. <laughs> Huge news. Do you use Cure, like, ever? Uh, Cure is useful to me exactly one time in the run. <laughs> is, uh, like, is being in the NP recharge stage beneficial? Um, there is one ability that makes use of it, and it is a very important ability for one of the endgame bosses. Gotcha. So this is... Oh, wait. That's one of the uses for Cure! <laughs> so... <laughs> Triggering that cutscene uh, and this section of the game, uh, you have to um, you have to um, do a certain number of hits, and for some reason, curing your party members counts as hits. Oh, that's funny! Wow. <laughs> yeah. So you can just use cure after you've done a few hits. Okay. Uh, negative damage. Is not deal. Negative damage is still damage. Sure. Okay. Oh my God! That that guy got caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Rest in peace. No, I didn't draw those money orbs. Evil. You need more draws. I do. You can never have too many draws. Also, watch out for, watch out for James Woods. Also, please remember to feel the heat responsibly. It is summertime. Feel the heat. Yeah. Use your ice cream to avoid the heat. Yeah, Hades just continually shoots these fireballs at you. Which, as it always is, is, if you have, like, the intended stat level for this point in the game, is very dangerous. You're feeling the heat? Me too, actually. It's pretty hot. It's okay. It's because this Kingdom Hearts 2 Rando run is heating up. Dang. <laughs> Gotta go slower, Owu. You're heating up the place with your speed. I know. Alright, Cerberus here. Uh... So, Cerberus is funny because uh, this fight uh, in the any percent run, the fastest way to beat him is to die um, because you can get Mickey reinforcements. Um, fortunately, I have a very strong blizzard at the moment, so I can just... Bad dog! <laughs> oh no. No, you gotta pet the dog in Kingdom Hearts. What are you doing? No, I'm sorry. Whenever I, whenever I have to use Blizzard on Cerberus, I always just... Every, every Blizzard is just like... Bad dog! And you just like... Spray him with a little... Water ball. <laughs> Which I... Can't say I like doing. Would rather pet the Cerberus like in Hades. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright? That's right. 
Does Mickey still come in the rando if you die there? Hell yeah, he does. Yeah. So if you go to Olympus early, you can still um you can still take the death strategy. All right. So uh, this mini game normally uh, you have to collect. Oh wait. Uh, you have to collect stuff from these urns. Uh, oh wow, that's a lot of presents. Wow, thanks. Oh. Oh presents. Oh, you knew it was Christmas. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you remembered. Uh, so, uh, what I'm trying to do is, uh, these urns break when you do a finisher, so I'm trying to use Magnet to get an early finisher. Oh, we got Chicken Little! Chicken Little is a very good summon. Um, he's oh, wait, basic. Do you know who voices Phil? In this game, or? Yeah. I don't actually think I know who voices Phil in this game. Oh, wait, is it the same as the movie? I don't think it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Crap. Because I know who voices Phil in the movie. Yeah. Our friend Danny. I don't think Danny voices him in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man. Never he, mind. He My might. Gone. Sorry to interrupt you for a stupid joke. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right. Using Reflect uh, while gliding also gets you a little boost of height or it installs your height a little bit, which is very helpful considering um, I didn't have a lot of high jump, so... Oh my god, we're getting a lot of stuff. Uh, got Magnera, which uh, is a huge upgrade to your magnet range. Um, oh my god, we got two hints. Disney Castle has three. The other one was Beasts. Yeah, Beasts. Beast Castle has four, which means there's one more there. Kingdom Hearts the only time you'll ever hear someone happy to see Chicken Little. Chicken Little's broken! I hope I can show him off. I don't know. Um... I don't know when I'll get the chance, but... Dance, water, dance. I don't even know what Chicken Little does. I've played this game. I don't know what he does. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get to see him. Yeah. Alright, so this is Demix. It's basi he's basically a minigame fight. Um, he'll make these clones, and you do a reaction command that attracts all the clones to him. The fastest way to do this is um, to try to lock on to a clone while you're doing the reaction command that will make it throw the form closer to Demix so that they basically spawn inside the um... Ooh, yeah, 52 is a very good time for that. As well as we got a master form, which means Yay. drive form. See, everything was just hidden in Olympus. We also now know with about half the reports that uh, Twilight Town is a... Oh my god, even more reports, jeez. Agraba has three, which means we do need to go back at some point. Uh, I gotta save here. Yeah, we got Master Form, which is very good drive form. Very good timing for it because of the boss of Olympus. Um, I don't want to get a report for a Simulator Twilight Town. That is like the number one place I want to get a report for. Okay. So we got another Pete fight. This time, not Timeless River Pete. Oh, the back cry was nowhere near him. I love back cry. Well, let's let's throw heat like a oh, heat peat like a bowling ball. Uh, please stop hurting me. Feel the peat. I'm getting kind of wrecked. I'm gonna fix that. Goodbye. Oh, mustard form. Let's go. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of there. <laughs> Air combo boost. That's a great ability. Yeah, Master Form is the first of the forms that are- not the first of the forms, but one of the three forms that uses two Keyblades. Um, so you get a- f in Rando you get a free Keyblade, which is the Kingdom Hearts 1 Ultima Weapon. Um, for free. Did you miss Phil? No, you did not miss Phil. It's time. Wait, no, uh, let me go back to the garden. So. A little thing about the drive gauge, now that we have drive forms. Um, so the drive gauge normally is pretty hard to fill up. You have to collect drive orbs or just fight a lot to fill drive gauge. Um, and you use drive gauge to enter forms and to use summons. Um, if you enter areas where your party members get removed, you can conserve your drive gauge. Because uh, if you're in a form, it will remove you from your form and refill you to full drive gauge. Oh, so you purposefully go into a drive form to like, to, so you can fill it back yeah, up. Yes, so you can go into a drive form, use a save point to return to the garden, and then uh, just 
And then, uh... You will get all your drive gauge back. Oh. Alright, so Master Form Thunder is really strong. Uh, this is our main source of DPS on Master Form because it does three thunders. Uh, get up on the Hydra's back! Yeah, I was about to say, I'm really confused where you go on this. Get up on the please, Hydra's back! <laughs> please tell us where to go. Uh, yeah, you are, you are, I believe you're supposed to, wait, I've never seen this guy spawn before, what? <laughs> Surprise, I got Did I take too long? What happened? I okay. don't oh, know, more drive balls. Alright, so I'm gonna, here I'm gonna use a Trinity Limit for the first time. So I'm gonna go up here. Hang out. What's up? Uh, so Trinity Limit is a very interesting limit. Um, oh no, wait, was Goofy dead? Oh, I kind of messed it up. Uh, I would like to read. I would like a redo. No, stop hurting me. Give me a redo. <laughs> Trinity Limit's cool. I wanna, I wanna use it. No, they're dead. No, you know what? F frick you, Donald. Get back here. <laughs> I'm using Trinity. I love the Trinity strat for this fight. Okay, so you get three hit attacks with which you want to do as many hits as possible. And then it shoots a beam that does damage based on how many hits you got. Um, oh, his health just melted. <laughs> yep, and the idea is that you want to... Um, okay, well, I guess we'll show up the reaction command too. This is not a great Cerberus fight, uh, by the way. No, I'm just going to Aether and Thunder him. <laughs> not Cerberus at all, in fact. Or the great Hydra fight. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I misspoke. Not the best Hydra fight, but it was funny at least. So that's what I know happens. it's a little bit. I know it's a little flustering when things go wrong. Don't worry. No, it's okay. I, I wasn't worried about things going wrong. I was just speaking too fast. <laughs> I'm chilling. All right. I'm glad you're having a good time. I am having a great time. I just playing this game makes me happy. All right. Because of the reports for Twilight Town, I'm very curious to explore it a bit more. Um. So where else do we want to go? Uh, the world that never was could be good to start, uh, just because there's five important checks there. All right, so this fight is a little bit rough sometimes. I don't have any great combo finishers, which is kind of hurting me right now. It's definitely not in my best interest to just do combos. Um, oh no. Okay, yeah, Master Form isn't great for that. I shouldn't have gone into Master. All right. You know what? No, this is a great fight to show off Chicken Little, actually. I'm a, I, oh. I, God, I'm so smart. I remember the things that will help me not die after I die. <laughs> All right. No, deaths are pretty natural. It's it, This is critical mode, which means dying is very easy. Chicken Little, there he is. So Chicken Little will uh, whistle in enemies if you're far away. And it can negate enemies like these Berserkers' uh, super armor really nicely. So, like, he's up in there. Okay, well, I'm just gonna thunder him. <laughs> just heck that. So, let's see, we're gonna go over here, position ourselves so that the enemies get whistled. And then... Okay. So he just... kind of taunts enemies? Yeah, he, um, he just basically is a pseudo-magnet. See. Like if you don't have a magnet, he is a great replacement. Do they? Do the enemies like take actions? Uh, not. They just... Uh, not while they're whistled by Chicken Little now. Gotcha. Okay. They basically function as if they're in a magnet, but without the damage of magnet. I see. They were like vibrating, like they were trying to do something, but I think that was <laughs> just them vibing out. Yeah, they're they're just they're just moving around, getting bumped by each other and whatnot. <laughs> Because they're stuck. Yeah, Chicken Little's great. Um, especially if you don't have Magnet. He's a great source of crowd control. That just helps you, like... Like, Chicken Little pairs really well with Fire. Um, one of the best ways to make Fire good without dry forms. Because, unfortunately, Sora's base Fire is not great. So you just finish the second thing, and you already have the item to go into the third. Yeah, so we're currently on the Twilight... That was... That fight was literally the only thing that was in Twilight Town's second visit. Now we're in the third. Yeah. Third visit Twilight Town can be very... <laughs> You're conflicted about genuinely thanking Chicken Little. I think we all had that moment. <laughs> I've just accepted him at this point. 
<laughs> Alright. So yeah, um, there's a ton of checks that open up in Twilight Town 3, but the enemies are super dangerous. This is also a super important world to open up for final form leveling because um, nobodies are not very prominent, which is why you it's good to use story encounters like uh, Twilight Town 1 and 2 uh, to get final form levels. Um, oh, money pouch! There it is. Money. So we can basically buy as many ethers as we... Uh, can find use for it now. Um, all right, so that's all the chests in this area. Is there any sort of enemy scaling that happens in this game? Um, like with your level? With with your level or really anything? Items found maybe? Uh, no, there's no scaling in the randomizer. Um, mainly enemies will. Um, it, it's just about the battle level of the world, really. Um. And that's based on what visit number you're on? Yes, it's based on how late in the vanilla game the world comes in. Gotcha, okay. Alright, so here is the mansion fight, which is another place where Chicken Little is going to shine. Because these are also enemies that will probably one-shot us if we let them, so let's not let them. I do like how you just finished fighting the Beasts of Hell and the Lord of the Underworld. And these enemies who can't even walk on the ground are going to one-shot you. Yeah. Of course. I love RPG so much. Me too. The freaking... Like, you'll fight an early game boss who's like a... This crazy, like, cool captain of the guard who has like a super heroic death uh, fighting for his kingdom. And he'll be weaker than a slime in the next area. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and bonk all these guys. Again, Chicken Little is just going to be drawing things in. And then I'm just going to be using whatever strong ability magics like Blizzard I can. Uh, so that they cannot kill me, pretty much. Because they, again, Chicken Little makes them become helpless. Horizontal Slash, that is an incredible ability. That makes your air combos like super duper strong. So I'm going to equip that right away. Oh, hey fellas. Mickey showing up there. Oh, yeah, Mickey. This is the part of the game where he finally actually decides to help you instead of do whatever else he was doing. I don't only showing up after you die. I yeah. He's <laughs> like finally you're actually helping. And Mickey actually does really big damage in that fight. Uh, so these guys are gamblers. They're very nice. They're super helpful for grinding money uh, and also master form levels if you have drive converter which is an ability that turns money uh, and other orbs into drive orbs. Got counter guard, which is great for the guard that we don't have. <laughs> yeah, like on the basic defend thing is just not here yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, reflect is a uh, reflect is just that good that you don't even need guard when you have it. But there are still a lot of instances where guard is like actually better than reflect because reflects finishers are really bad. So Reflect kind of has like a combo limit, whereas um, whereas Guard, you know, you can just guard infinitely. Mm -hmm. Unless it's an attack you can't guard in the first place. Alright, so I'm in a pretty interesting situation in Twilight Town now, by the way, because I do not have all the important checks here. We're still missing two, and I am basically done with the world. So what that means is that... Um, there's going to be a uh, there's a required fight in the story that we're going to have to do um, to get those last two checks. Um, but the unfortunate thing is that doing that will make our grinding a lot worse uh, because that beam basically functions as one of those drive gauge and full heal spots. Um, oh, wisdom form! Yo, wait, we're in an amazing spot to level it as well. That's huge. Okay. Uh, now, an important thing to note now that we have multiple drive forms is that uh, drive forms max level depends on how many drive forms you have. So because we're at two drive forms now, we can go to level four instead of level uh, level three oh, on I our forms. Oh, I that mechanic, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna M take damage to MP Rage. Oh, I didn't realize I only had two uh, drive gauge. Uh, let me not 
die, so I don't have to redo that grinding. Got an answer for it. Sora's heart has two. Okay, so there's one more important check from level up. So that is something to look out for. Alright. Gonna be a pretty Ooh. gonna be a pretty big boss fight here. Um This is uh Roxas. Um Oh, it's time. So I'm gonna start by doing some combo thing here and there. Oh, actually, I've decided I'm scared. I'm gonna run away. I don't do a lot of damage. Uh, oh no. This is bad. I believe in you, Owoo. God, he's so cool. He has two Keyblades. I don't have two Keyblades. My party members are gone. I can't use Master Form. There's no way. No, it's just it's just math. Two Keyblades beats one. It's over. True, I learned Wait. that from Tales of Symphonia. Wait. But what if I said we had three Keyblades? What? That's cheating. Alright, now tell me about your day, chat. I've been having a great day so far. I had some I had some macaroni and meat thing. And I watched Owu play Kingdom Hearts for a bit today. I watched Fan Game Marathon today. Oh my god, I love Fan Game Marathon. Fan Game Marathon on, is so great. It's on right now. It's on right now. You can watch Fan Game Marathon on Twitch.tv. Uh, Slash Fan Game Marathon. Alright, so do we want to address the elephant in the room? The, uh... Uh, you mean the, lumpy? The lumpy in the room? Uh, so anyways, uh, after you followed Fan Game Marathon, you will become a 10% happier person, and you'll also realize that, uh, we are currently infiniting Roxas. Um, so the way this works is funny. Um, so when you steal these Keyblades, they will attack with you as you act. Um, so they will do, um, they will uh, attack when you attack, uh, when you dodge, when you use an item, basically anything. Um, and as it turns out, the attack that this does doesn't add to what is called a boss's revenge value, which is basically, in layman's terms, it's the amount of times you can hit a boss before they break out and say, no, I'm not getting infinite comboed in my favorite game. Um, so these Keyblades don't add to that revenge value. So we can just loop Roxas against this wall by doing quick run attacks, um, basically until he dies. Yeah, all you're doing is dashing forward, right? Yes, all I'm doing is quick running against the wall. It is a bit more complicated because I, um, unfortunately I forgot to equip dodge roll, unequip dodge roll before this, which means I need to hold the button every time. Which oh. means I actually do have to time it. So I'm kind of worried that I'm going to let him go and die here. Uh, but it shouldn't happen. So yeah, all this requires is quick run. And this just proves, like I said, math. Keyblade, three Keyblades is better than zero. Can't, I can't refute that. I'm learning so if you much. if you have zero Keyblades, you might as well just not even show up to the fight. I don't even have I don't even have revenge value with zero Keyblades. What am I gonna do? Yeah, you, we saw Pete. Roxas, how does it feel to know that you were easier than Pete? He's Tell a me sleepy that. Sleepy lion. <laughs> he is a sleepy lion. Yeah, imagine, imagine. You, you wait forever to get revenge on Sora, the guy who ended your summer vacation. And you just get, you just get your Keyblade stolen and then you get shoved into a corner and then you just get hit. Land of Dragons has seven. I I might leave here to go do Land of Dragons. Hold on. That's very summer enticing. Summer vacation is over. Yeah, our summer vacation in the world that never was is definitely almost over. <laughs> So we have a lot of avenues right now. Um, Land of Dragons, um, the end of Twilight Town, uh, which sounds like it could be a movie ending to the Kingdom Hearts 2 saga. <laughs> uh, you got your guard. You shoved Roxas into the locker of three Keyblades. It's true. All right. Got some Dragoons here I'm going to kill because I want experience. Oh, this is scary. Wait. Oh, no. They're all there. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, goodbye! Okay. Where's he going? He's gonna go meet Barbosa. He's gonna, yeah, go, go say hi to Barbosa for us. He's up there in the 
the sky. Ooh, Sly Dash. Sly Dash is great. It's another combo move. It's a ground... Uh, it's a gap closer, which means it... I love Sly Dash. Yeah, Sly Dash and Flash Step together make your ground combos a lot more viable. I am still looking for one of the ground combo finishers. Uh, we're also going to buy 40 Ethers and just... <laughs> 40? <laughs> yeah. 40 Ethers should be enough, right? <laughs> Speaking of 40 ethers, um, let me manage my item equips because they are kind of wrong right now. There we go. I also have another accessory slot with which I'm going to equip a probably a cosmic arts so that I get a bit of a balance between strength and magic increase. We're getting pretty close to endgame stats, um, which is nice. Um, Speaking so. of ground combos, you don't, I haven't really seen you do that many ground combos. Are they just not good? Um, compared to air combos, they are not until you get, um, all your combo modifiers. Some big ones are slide dash and flash step, slap shot, and the combo finishers especially, um, guard break oh, okay. or explosion. Yeah, explosion is a ground. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because your ground combo finishers kind of suck. They're slow, they push the enemy away far, so you can't really get another combo after them. They don't do a lot of damage. They kind of just, they kind of are just not great. Um, and they're not magnet. And they're not magnet. <laughs> so it's like, especially now that I have stuff like horizontal slash and just magic is so strong, like ma magnet, chicken little. Um, we have all sorts of stuff that is just like, we'd rather do than waste time doing a ground combo, you know? This is a stylish action game. It's there's no more style to be had on the ground. If you if you have a 3D plane, jump up. Yeah. Be, be fancy. Be anime. Unless you're fighting super bosses, then don't. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Will I remember where all the the heartless are here? Yeah. Let's find out. I already forgot one. I always forget this guy. So uh, these are just little missions that we have to do, which are basically just you know. Scripted fight, or script, not scripted fights, but just like required fights that are pretty slow. Um, Land of Dragons, I usually don't come to until a good bit later, even though it is the technically lowest battle level world after Twilight Town. Um, just because it takes a while and you have to get deep to really get payoff from Land of Dragons. It's very backloaded with its item checks. Yes, um, so backloaded, in fact, that it has, like, the second visit is what's really uh, worth it. It's one of the worlds you want to clear if you get the uh, key item for it, but otherwise it's not amazing to prioritize it early. Because um, even though it is low level, you're not going to get a, a splendid amount of experience. Uh, you're not going to get any big, big time rewards or advantage over going to like any other world early. And again, it's just like those those missions which are already slow just become slower. Yeah. Also, uh, in this room, I'm gonna want to try to make an active effort to move a little slower, because uh, we don't want enemies to despawn. Um, we want to leave these guys spawned in as much as we can. Um, so normally, there's a a strong enemy who will pretty much always interrupt you there at the end, and you normally have to kill two of them before you can progress and br actually break the rock. Leaving all those enemies spawned in and not killing them prevents that guy from spawning. So, <laughs> so we just don't deal with it. <gasps> Hollow Bastion has won. Wow. That is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I have never seen such a low yield Hollow Bastion in my life. So Hollow Bastion has like, I think close to the most checks of any world. And there's one there. That's that's awesome. That is crazy. Olympus and and, and Land of Dragons really, so it really was hollow. Yeah. <laughs> Dang that Bastion sure is hollow. No checks. That common thing people say. Yep. yep. All right. So we got four out of the seven that are here at the moment. Membership card. Hey, that's the that's the key item for Hollow Bastion's second visit. <laughs> which, by the way, there's only three more reports left, which is pretty exciting. 
Um, because that means that there's a very real chance that we find the rest of the reports soon, which means we get, um, information on, um... Which means that we get information on, uh, the yellow world, the yellow number worlds, and where the proofs are. So finding all the reports is pretty close, and... That, those yellow numbers we have, which weren't very useful at the start, are now, like, really important to look at. Because, like, after Land of Dragons is done, then it's like, I have to decide where to go next, and it's probably not going to be Hello Bastion. <laughs> probably not. Um, Agrabah is... I don't have the report for Agrabah yet, which is a little unfortunate. Or, I guess it's not that unfortunate, because it would be, like... Or, I do have the report, but I don't have the report that reports the report. Are the hints dynamic? Um, the hints are set when you generate the seed. Um, but... So so I would say... I, I think that means no. <laughs> um, I think that means no, yeah. Yeah. What if... Now it's like, what if that one check in Hull of Bastion's final form? Okay, that's true. Don't don't tempt me! Don't say that. Oh no. Because, okay, the, the worst part is you know that there's a very real chance that that's the proof. Put on all this MP haste. Don't uh, check you don't want to be, don't want to become the Hollow Knight. Okay, I don't have a lot of good Keyblades yet. So there's a few abilities now that I'm like definitely looking out for. The things I really want. The main one is Berserk Charge. Berserk Charge is the main like normal ability I'm looking for. Um, whereas um, words. Um, as far as, like, forms or spells go, um, really I'm just looking for limit or final. Um, and then the last proof. If I get Berserk Charge in the last proof, I can beat the game right now. I could maybe even do it without Berserk Charge, but it might be a little hard. Um. <laughs> we don't, we don't do hard games here in Fan Game Marathon. Yeah, I know, honestly. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to embarrass myself. I don't want I don't want y'all to see me die to Zigbar ten, ten times in a row. <laughs> I want you to fight Zigbar. You want me to fight Zigbar? Oh god. I don't have I don't have endgame strength yet, give me. I need to boost my strength stat. No, I'm not ready. Easy fan game marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Only easy games allowed here. Those those bonk interactive, like that's that game is freaking easy peasy. I would beat it in my sleep. <laughs> I've never played a I want to be the guy fan game, so I surely, because this is the easy game marathon. <laughs> no, this this, all right, joke is over. Mini All right. Okay, let's see if I can get a parry. I'm cool. All right. Oh, who so, is this dude? I don't even know who this guy is. This is Shan Yu. He's the villain of Mulan. Oh, okay. Oh my God, uh, dry forms just two important checks. He's also going to space. Yeah, thunder combos are really funny. All right, well this sucks because there's only one important check left in Land of Dragons now, which means I'm doing the entire second visit of Land of Dragons. Oh wait, uh, hold on. I don't have Sword of the Ancestor yet. Okay. Well, I don't even have to worry about it then. Uh, let me just save again. No, I thought you did get that. Or I... you get a... Maybe it's a different sword. No, I got a Battlefields of War, which is a different sword. I've All gotten a few turn pages. Let me check Hundred Acre. How many victims will be sent to the moon? I think we're done sending people to the moon. <laughs> as far as I remember, but you know, we could always be looking for more astronauts. We're looking to Those fly. people who live on the moon are going to be very angry. Yeah, my people. <laughs> They'll be unhappy with me, surely. Alright, I'm going to drink water. I don't get a lot of chances to 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 drink water in this run, so. Or poo mini games, yay! Mm -hmm. Is this also sped up? This looks really fast. It is sped up, yes. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna be Newman, and we meet our new best friend. Wait, where's my best friend? Isn't he right here? Where's my best friend? There he is. Gopher is the name. Shoutouts to Gopher. If there's any, is there anything we take from this? It's that Gopher is the name. I'm so glad Gopher is my friend. 
I'm, oh, Gopher's gone. <laughs> oh, my Did you see him just freaking go to outer space? Goodbye, oh, Gopher. No. It's okay, He's he'll come back. Maybe he'll be... Oh, I dropped poo. Oh. Gopher's the name? Gopher's back! Oh, Gopher's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry I let this happen. I'll never forgive myself. Oh my gosh. Alright. So after this, I might just return to Agrabah and finish that visit up. It's not too long. It's just a bunch of pretty easy required fights. Um, struggle trophy. That does nothing. Accessory slot. That's actually good. Lamp charm. Okay, but Genie is good. Uh, I think my stats are a bit high to need Genie at the moment. But Genie, Genie is really solid. Level 1 especially sees a ton of use of Genie. Alright, so this is a quick balloon popping minigame. Gonna pop as many blue balloons as I can. Now oh. I'm officially in the struggle. Yeah, I can struggle now! Yes! What struggle bus. What balloons do to you? Uh, that's a good question. Alright, uh, I don't think I have any more torn pages, so... I think I'm just gonna finish up Agrabah. Simulator Twilight Town might be a play soon. Um... Simulated Twilight Town might be coming up soon because my my fear is that it's unhinted, but at the same time, like it's got there's a decent amount of checks there, and it would be worth just in case. But I should probably check. God, I don't want to check Hollow Bastion one. <laughs> I think I'll finish up Twilight Town first. That'll probably be my first priority because there's still two more there, but there's I've also already gotten a proof there. Which means the yellow number isn't as big of a deal in Twilight Town. But there could just be two uh, proofs there. And like either way, I still need to find the torn pages because it could be 100 Acre. 100 Acre and level ups are still very real possibilities. Uh, which is a bit scary, but you know what? We'll be fine. Because <laughs> we're almost level 30 at this point. It's gonna be hard to get a lot higher without like explicitly grinding. Oh, yeah, I was gonna I forgot to ask earlier, what is there like a level you usually typically end these at? Um, I try to end them around like thirty to thirty-five range. Um unless I have to grind for level up checks. Right, that's yeah. Alright, got a pretty long fight here. My wisdom form, I don't know. Is my wisdom form level four? I don't think it is. So let me just Alright, we got a negative combo. We have double negative combo, which is a really fun strategy. Um, can be used to do a lot of funny cheese strats. Alright. Doesn't that just mean positive? Yeah, double negative. A double negative? You know what? You got a point. Uh, but I mean, two negatives do make a positive, it's true. It is a double negative combo is very, very, very strong. It's like you just you just win happiness. All right. See, I think just clean up what I know has stuff left at the moment, and then go from there is probably a good idea. All right. So this is like a game here. Oh yeah, true. This is a flame lord and blizzard lord. So basically, they when you hit certain damage health gates. On these bosses, they will, um... When you hit certain health gates on these bosses, they will, um... Uh, what is it? Split into multiple little guys. Which, they won't reform until you kill them. So, the best way to handle this fight is just use AoE stuff. Like, I have Magnet Burst equipped, which is just going to annihilate them. Same with Duck Flare. Um, Duck Flare also does the trick very well. Ooh, experience boost. Okay. Uh -huh. Any grinding needed will be a lot easier now. So yeah, right now we're just looking for this last proof, pretty much. Um, that is that is the main objective at the moment. Where am I going? I actually need to think about this for a second. Agrabah. I don't like doing second visit Agrabah, but I guess I'll do it. And actually, I don't think it's worth it. No, it's not a hinted world at all. 
<laughs> Could be an absent silhouette too, which would be a real pain. I think my best bet is genuinely just finish up Twilight Town and then go simulate a Twilight Town. Because an unhinted simulated Twilight Town is like still worth going to at some point. Um, yeah, I was gonna ask if you're just like at this point, uh, like pure density. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. We're just looking for getting the most checks out of the way for either more information via hints or um, more information via hints or oh god, um, let me just not die here real quick. More information via hints or um, or just like straight up, you know, items or proofs is what we're mm -hmm. looking for. Just falling into it. Yeah. Again, torn pages are really good right now. Um, you know, finding that berserk charge would be really nice. Um, it's not likely, but it would be super helpful if we could get that. What does Berserk Charge do that you want so bad? Um, Berserk Charge, when you are... Berserk Charge, when you have Art MP Recharge, your combo never ends. Um, oh, goodness. Okay. Which means you can do... Uh, the main use is for doing a Horizontal Slash over and over. Which Horizontal Slash is this move. It's quite good. It's like one of the few things that make Air Combo Plus worth it. Proof of peace! Hey, let's go! Alright. What? Oh my gosh. It was there. So Twilight Town was just super loaded. Alright, uh, now we are in uh, pretty much go mode. Uh, at this point, we just try to beat the final bosses with any by any means possible. Uh, so right now we want to pump our strength up as high as we can. Uh, that is the main goal here. Yeah, no Berserk Charge is going to make this tough. We can still definitely do it, but it will be quite difficult. Um, but you know what? I'm down. Uh, let's, let's attempt this. Because, I mean, it's not really worth just going to look for Berserk Charge. Yeah. Just for one fight, anyways. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. All right, Zigbar. Zigbar. Zigbar is, I think, the biggest gatekeeper boss in this gotcha game. Now. I think whether or not you can beat Zigbar is a really good indication of if you're ready for endgame or not. Um, both stats-wise and just like skill-wise. Um, like being able to effectively beat Zigbar um, is a pretty good sign that you're like set to go. So for right now, we're just gonna want to sit under him after getting about a bar and a half of health. Um, we're gonna get put into one of these uh, as he says, new backdrop. Uh, we're gonna want to use Mega Duck Flare. Uh, pop an Ether real quick. Uh, so every so many uh, hit attacks he does, he's gonna have to reload. Um, What's the button for reload? R for reload. Uh, oh no! Sorry. Oh no! Kingdom Hearts crashed. Uh, oh no! <laughs> disaster! Disaster! Uh, okay. It should be fine. Let me know if it doesn't show up again when I restart it. If I need to get OBS to re-recognize it. Oh my gosh, Zigbar uh, is really strong. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't had crashes recently, so of course it would happen during the marathon. <laughs> oh no -y. That's right. definitely happened before. Definitely has. Kingdom Hearts Randomizer used to be super super unstable um it looks like it came up pr properly okay yeah <laughs> zigbar is a gatekeeper for your computer too apparently oh god wait i haven't saved in a little bit okay i was gonna ask did you save right before then um i saved right before i went to twilight town so i just have to redo that last fight so we didn't lose much progress <laughs> Jeez. yeah i have i've been a little cocky about my uh how often i've been saving just because of um Oh wait, oh yeah, no, this is the way to go. Just just because of how little I've had crashes recently, but uh clearly that's not a uh, it's not the way. Gather. Yeah. Gather. Right. Nice. So anyway, we're really just trying to stumble into the last proof somewhere. Yeah, you know, it would be really fortunate if we just found the proof. 
Um, you know, might take a while. There's a lot of there's a lot of possibilities for it. Oh, we but might you have know. to go to find that one important check in Hollow Bastion. God, not Hollow Bastion. Uh, so I guess talking more about this fight. Um, this fight kinda can suck because Sora is alone, which means oh, you also get one shot, which is a little tough. <laughs> Um, Sora's alone, which means you can't use limits, and you can't use drive for- or- You can't use limits, summons, or drive forms, uh, except for limit form. Uh, so, which you don't. are- Yeah, which I don't have, so we are, um, pretty much just relying on Magnet. Um, the Magnet finishing leap strat. <laughs> uh, yeah, which means death. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I actually have a better strategy. It's Magnet Thunder. This is how you actually play mob fights. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, so Magnet Thunder is, uh... I don't know why I haven't been using it more. That's... that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? New strats. Live on stage. New strats is in the strats I used to use, and then got too confident. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use magnet. I'm gonna use finishing leap to pop them back up into the magnet, and then they'll get hit again by the magnet, and then I can horizontal slash to bounce them around." And no, none of that's, none of that's real. It's all fake. All right, let me just check my abilities again. Yeah, you definitely equipped a couple, couple of things. I think we're fine. Uh, the main things I did was change my accessories. Again, I wanted a full prioritized strength. Um, and then I equipped monochrome for the air combo boost as well. All right. Save that now. So we should be good. All right, let's try that again. Um, this time, with the, this time with the stakes that if I die, then the game will crash. Zigbar. So as I was saying, Zigbar very hard. This will especially be tough because I don't have guard. Um, and later in the fight, it gets harder to just do the strat where you just get under him. Um, so again, we're just gonna want to sit under him. Oh wait, is the uh, the defender ability not guard? I guess it's just called guard. Isn't it? No, guard is just called guard. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Cause yeah, like later, you can see how he kind of delays. Uh, he does not delay after he teleports and shoots later on. Like right there. So reflect is really good to use just for his his bullets. He didn't even shoot at you that time. What's he doing? And then when you can get, when you can get under, you want to get under, but otherwise just reflect. Oh no. Okay. All right. This is the desperation move. Uh, it's a little scary, but uh, we should be fine. <laughs> All right. Let's see how you dance. Don't worry about the bullet hell. Just go in circles. You'll be fine. Oh, Donald's dead. That's typical. That's true. All right, you want to make sure you reflect these blue arrows he shoots? Oh no, I didn't get my reflect up. That sucks. Because those blue arrows, they'll bounce around and they'll kill you when you least expect it, even if you do the reaction command to snipe them back into him. Donald dying there also sucked because I wanted to use Duck Flare right at the end of that. Maybe I should have revived Donald instead. Either way, I'll I'll get it. <laughs> Again, it's a little tough without Berserk Charge, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Again, like at the end of the day, this is still critical mode, and this is still a really hard fight. And at towards end game, this is the part where you're like underpowered compared to what you would normally have in base game. Which is a very interesting dynamic. It's like most of the time you're overpowered, but then towards the end game you will end up having less on average than if you um, were playing vanilla. So it makes these endgame fights a lot harder than they would be normally. Oh no. Um, 
Roxas. Uh, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, that was really risky. If he teleported above me, I was probably dead. I'm pretty sure this guy's weapon is in Fantasy Star Online. I believe you. All right, got a lot of damage in on him there. We're gonna go into the DM now. So again, we're just gonna wanna dance around with him. He will shoot in the direction he is facing. And then in this phase, he will just shoot at you. So just move in a circle and you will be fine. You don't even need glide to do this. It is a lot scarier than oh, it really? looks. <laughs> it is a lot less scary than it looks. Uh, I'm just gonna spam reflect. Appreciate you. All right. Oh, he shoots the second one faster. Okay. Very scary. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Did I use my potion? Do you remember? Oh, uh, uh, oh no. I don't know if I did or not. Oh my god. He was vulnerable there. Oh, this is bad. No, I had to reflect again. Oh my god. Okay. No. Zigbar. Yeah. You really Man, I, I haven't. I haven't. This is my fault. I haven't practiced this fight. Uh, yeah, this guy is more. Than, but unless, gotcha. This guy is harder than the final boss. I think is harder. He is harder. Like depending on what you have, he is harder than the final boss. Easier to cheese, but like more difficult in every other way. We only have an hour left before your estimate of Oh my god, no. <laughs> I better hurry. Watch out for Zigbar. Right. It's okay, I just have to... I just have to believe. Oh my god, this is cruel. What is this weird hallway? Uh, this is my least favorite of the backdrops. He can put you in. I'm gonna take this opportunity to potion. I was thinking about saving it for Donald later, but... Oh, that's so rude. He's being so mean to me this time. No, I don't have Leaf Bracer. Oh, what? Crap. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you really need to set yourself up for success here, which is hard. I'm you know, like trying. Like snarky little walk he does. Yeah. Uh huh. No, that's that's like an opening. If I had moved fast enough in that last attempt where I made it really far, then I would have killed him. But it's hard to react to because you're just like scared and having to reflect. Right. And it's like his pattern changes a lot throughout, like in just slight little ways. So you have to like adapt to the way he changes his patterns throughout. Cause like, in the beginning, it's just three attacks and then reload. Oh no, why do I have Whirly Goof? When did I get that? Oh no! <laughs> Goofy, not now! Goofy is trolling me. We're busy. <laughs> I actually didn't know I had that. Uh oh, okay. Um, here's the blue arrow. Okay, went into the ground. That's good. gone. Oh my god. The openings are so small at this point. That's Trinity. Oh, I missed my duck flare both times. Wow. That's a little tragic. I'm gonna go into master form to heal. Revert. Actually, I should have stayed in master form because I could have gotten a duck flare at the end if Donald was alive. It's not too late, actually. Wait, are they living? Oh my god, they're living. Holy crap, they're uh, living. They know the strat. <laughs> actually, believe if he knows the strat. actually, mouse over duck flare this time. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Nice. <laughs> duck flare is the way. When your party members are alive, you can, <laughs> you can use the broken move to win. And it should be smooth sailing from there. That is easily going to be the hardest fight in the game for me. Uh, again, if you have Berserk Charge, you can literally just infinite him to death. Uh, which, you know, is a pretty common trend in this game, I'm noticing. 
It's like, yeah, if you do this, you can infinite this boss to death. It just kind of keeps popping up. Uh, oh yeah, another ability that we didn't get to see, but I would have loved to have, is Combo Master. Combo Master lets you continue your combos even if you don't hit your ability, which makes it really fun. Because uh, with Reflect, the Reflect hitting, it never counts as it hitting. But with Combo Master, you can Reflect and then do an attack. The Reflect will pop while you're doing the combo. So you can do some really cool stuff with it. Uh, okay, I'm just checking my abilities. We're fine. The main thing you want to know for this fight, uh, Luxord, is that you don't want to have form boost because... Oh god, I'm a dice! Oh jeez! Oh no, you've already died. I have already died. Alright. So this fight looks complicated because of the, the time... It might look time complicated because the time gauge. That's just a glorified health bar, don't worry. I only live that because of once more, by the way. Oh god. Hit it with the sure you can. Sure you can? Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, the main thing. Oh, okay. Wow, I died to the cards. Okay. That was a bad start, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely not as powerful as I have been recently, which is kind of fun. I like, uh. I like that I'm not just unkillable. Alright. Yeah, if you do it right, it looks like that. Um, the hard part about this is I don't have a good f ground finisher, and ground combos are the main thing you do uh, against bosses around this point in the game. So we're not going to be doing a lot of damage uh, with our ground combos, unfortunately. Alright, so... He challenges you to a game, and we just reflect it instead. You can actually play a mini game with him, but... Yeah, I just, I just don't feel like it. Sorry, buddy. If I play games with you, I'll go over my estimate. What? Don't you know? I only have an hour. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're plenty of time as well, didn't I? Only have an hour. Alright. So he's going to hide in these cards. The clock cards will uh, reduce his time gauge. Um, his card will take him out. Uh... Don't try to combo him on the last one, because he has super armor. He will not get comboed. <laughs> so yeah, the most important thing for this fight is just reflecting those game challenges. Uh, staying away from the cards when he does this, the jumps, um, and then just not getting hit by his big card smack. I like reflecting the game challenge. <laughs> yeah. Refle no, <laughs> someone challenges you to a, a duel in Yu-Gi-Oh or something, just freaking reflect it. This and is like... The Uno card. No yeah. You, what I... <laughs> the reverse card in Uno, yeah. Yeah, the reverse. Alright, once you get his health into this range, he'll do his desperation move. Uh, which is pretty cool and all, but uh, I, I, sorry, I, I left my oven on. I gotta go. Goodbye, I Sora. I, uh, oh, I, no, I, I, I gotta go. I left my oven yeah, on at home. I Barbosa. <laughs> no, we're going to say hi to Barbosa. He's tending my oven. All right, now we need to get four uh, circles in uh, our command menu here, which is a simple timing game. And then you can finish him with any finisher of your choice. And that's Luxord. <laughs> I, I really love just gliding up above his desperation move because when you're up there, he can't hurt you. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, I didn't want to risk showing it, but if you just stay hugging the wall, he like climbs it. It's terrifying. Oh, it goes <laughs> yeah. All right. Next fight is Saix. Saix is uh, probably the easiest organization member in this game. Um, Luxord is close, but Saix is uh, pretty easy. So first off, we want to dodge his attacks, grab his claymore, and we want to punch the crap out of him. Uh, reflect. Summon Peter Pan. Oh no, I uh, messed it up a little bit. Uh, and now he's in an infinite, so uh, hope y'all are enjoying. You know, these bosses really have it rough. Uh, does Pete also not like increase their revenge value? Or does uh, Peter's attacks, yeah, I don't think they, I think they just like keep him locked in such a way that um, he just can't break out. Like even if he tries, Peter's attacks sometimes just, uh, 
Yeah, thanks for tuning in to Fangame Marathon. Uh, unfortunately, Sora and Peter Pan are about to infinite combo the rest of the marathon, so... Ugh, that's tragic. You'd think the move Never Land would, like, <laughs> always keep you airborne. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's, that's way more preferable um, to having to deal with, like... Because when his Berserk Gauge fills up again, he'll become invincible and do a bunch of crazy big attacks. Riku's in the party! I love you, Riku. I love Hatsune Riku. Hatsune Riku! He's here. And we're going to take all his items. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Riku. Yeah, Saix's other name is Isa. I'm going to Magnet here. Oh, no, that didn't get the... Okay, it did. Uh, cause if you don't use magnet while opening these chests, there's a good chance you will completely die. Which wouldn't be fun. I surmise. Using my math skills, I've calculated that, uh, that the probability of death being fun is, uh, less than 1%. <laughs> Alright. Up to the final few fights here. Uh, this one is, um, going to be the first fight with Xemnas. This one's pretty cool. Um, I quite like this. This was the, one of the main fights that is way cooler with Combo Master. That we're unfortunately not going to be able to see. Um, Come closer. But yeah, uh, Combo Master, Reflect, and Slapshot have a really good synergy with each other. And just can kind of melt this guy. But All things considered, um, we'll be doing a pretty honest fight uh, against these last few bosses. Which is fun. You get to see how Tetsuya Nomura intended these fights to be. Also, that reaction command does a crap ton of damage, uh, depending on when you time it and how much reaction boost you have. Uh, so the main strategy against Xemnas here is, oh no, uh, is to die. Uh, fortunately, I got a parry on his swing there with my slide dash, which is really lucky. Um, okay. So he's going to put up this guard thingy. Um, if you go around the guard, you can just hit him. Um, and at the end of his combos, he's vulnerable as well. So generally, genu generally you just dodge and then slide dash in. Because uh, it's pretty risky to reflect his attacks. Uh, I can reflect that one, but sometimes it's just too slow because uh, he just teleports away. So we're just going to be dodging, hitting, repeat until dead. You can also get some extra damage with spells. And once you do the second reaction command, uh, he's basically dead at this point. He'll uh, tempt you with his very ridiculously attractive voice one final time. And then uh, we're going to do uh, the reaction command and he'll be dead basically right after. Was always really cool. Yeah, I love this reaction command. It, this building is very iconic in Kingdom Hearts for like so many different things. Oh, you're not dead? Oh, they, oh, you timed it. Okay, <laughs> good call, good call. So, no, Sora knew better than I did. <laughs> you're gonna need to drag this out for like 30 minutes, otherwise you'll throw the marathon off schedule. Okay, I'll um, I'll die to Throne Zemnis 30 times. How's that sound? Yeah, aren't there like? eight bosses or so in this chain, it's a lot. Yeah, okay. So, to prepare for the, the final fights, uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to equip all these ethers to Riku. And then we're gonna want to remove him from the party. Um, and then I'm gonna check over my own abilities, see if I have anything that I want to equip. Finishing plus, probably. Um, damage drive, yes. Um, MP rage, yes. No reason to equip the defense abilities because I'm just going to die anyways. Uh, we're going to want to go back to prioritizing our magic here. Uh, get a good, getting a good balance is nice. Um, probably just put elixirs there. Um, hopefully I don't need to heal more than three times. Uh, with that all being done... Oh wait, let me check my Keyblades. Because um, air combo boost is not the best for this. Uh, let's see. Combo plus is not great. 
Don't have the best Keyblades for this, unfortunately. I, th I guess I'm just gonna go with the 7-5 for the pure stats. Let's end this! <laughs> oh, get on! So the final boss in this game is a... Or, well, it's a series of final bosses. So we're gonna be going through a... Basically a gauntlet of um, final uh, fights. This first fight is uh, the building fight. Uh, where, where you just press the triangle button. And you beat the buildings. So you get slashed in half. <laughs> Buildings. Everyone knows away. buildings. Yeah, everyone knows buildings are weak to swords. Yeah, keyblades. You gotta unlock the door to the building, which is just, in Sora's case, the door is just straight through the center of the building. Like, really? <laughs> they have a door for a reason. You can just go through. Sora, you're being needlessly destructive. Honestly, think about the think about how much money all of those cost. The economy is in shambles thanks to you, Sora. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so now we'll get to this reactor section. Um, where we want to knock these enemies into the reactor. We're pretty much just going to use Magnet because it's a really fast way to hit all of them. Um, now we just need one more. Now after this guy gets tapped in, we can stunt dodge over here. Now as soon as we're over here, we're going to want to pop Master for him because uh, it's useful for the next phase. And like Magnet, Master for him, uh, or Master for Magnet lasts just like three times the amount of time as normal magnet. Double or triple or something. Just a lot longer. Unfortunately, I keep placing it on... Not where I want to. I'm trying to place it in the center of the platform so I grab them all. Uh, so now... Uh, we're going to want to use magnet on this thing as well. Uh, and it will instantly trigger the enemy fight here. Otherwise, we would have to uh, do a lot more damage before we could start fighting the enemies. Alright, these guys are going to jump on us, so I'm going to reflect. Uh, going to get this air combo with Master Form, which is just like a big... Uh, it's, a, it's a very big magnet burst. Now we're going to do the magnet form. Magnet again, which thankfully grabbed the Berserker. Now I'm going to summon Chicken Little. Just for some insurance against these assassins, because the assassin enemies suck. They can just one-shot you without really asking and or, or you know being any kind of considerate towards you. It's kind of rude. Alright. Uh, how developed is the randomizer? Like, are there lots of options in customization? Absolutely, there is. Uh, there's a ton of different settings you can play with, and just. A lot of different ways to play the randomizer. It's great. Uh, how much longer I think in for the run? Uh, probably about 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. Oh crap, I forgot about the building. Uh, that can kill you if you're not careful. Oh no, watch out for that building. Yeah, it does have archipelago support as well, so you can play multi-worlds with like tons of other games. All right. So here we're gonna have the first Throne Xemnas fight. Uh, we're going to want to time our reflects carefully. Uh, oh, well, I didn't... I say time our reflects carefully. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mickey is here. Uh, we haven't seen Mickey yet, so you know what? I'll let it rock. It's, uh, oh my gosh. Mickey Schmouse. So Mickey uh, can come in in certain boss fights after you die to, um, to uh, give you an assist. Oh, I died. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Mickey, we can, no. We can use Mickey again, but I want to do the fight for real because this this looks really cool when you uh when you get it down all right so we're gonna want to do a full combo reflect one two reflect oh no i okay i did one too many reflects the hardest part is uh, reflecting that slash because he can do that in the middle of your combo sometimes so you have to be really careful about that uh not let it like Kill you like I am letting it kill me. Uh, I'm gonna do a wild dance. As as oh no, I respawn inside the screen, uh, so Mickey is not ideal here. Uh, yeah, now this fight can be rough if you don't just instantly melt him, which happens a lot because stats haha. Uh -huh. Oh no. Alright. Oh god, I'm in the screen. Okay. in your screen please oh my god 
Oh no. Oh no! I had no clue what was happening. Anything. Yeah, I thought the screen was gonna hit me. Alright, I'm just gonna bait a slash. There we go. No, I wanted to summon Peter Pan. Uh, okay, I can Mickey this though, because I'm far away. <laughs> yeah, this fight's hard. Look at all the stuff just going on. I, I generally want like to have enough magic to end it by the freaking Dragoon's phase. Which is this phase. Oh my god, I died to the screen again! <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yeah, this this can happen sometimes. These these can kind of get you stuck if you don't get in a, gro a good groove. Which again, can be hard. Like... There we go. That's how the beginning is supposed to look. I'm actually gonna do this. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep dying here. Let's uh, let's actually beat the let's actually beat the eh, fight. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. It's amazing how different. Uh, oh, I got the strat at the start of the fight right here. He's dead. Versus, uh, oh, I missed it, and now it's five minutes long. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, it's it can be tough, like especially once you like mess it up like one time and then you're like, oh god, I keep messing it up, just like not consistently messing it up. So now we fight Throne Zemnis again. At this point, Riku is our only party member, uh, so we're gonna get knocked away at certain health gates, and we're going to have to fly through and hit these buildings um, to break his shield. Now immediately after this building, uh, and I get active. Shinable, I am gonna double jump. Otherwise, we would have to deal with a bunch of lasers, which are not very fun. Uh, we don't want the lasers, so. I love lasers, though. So we're gonna want to get in here, uh, do our. I have four finishers. That's really funny. All right, now this is another health gate where we'll get knocked away again. These are the lasers that we tried to avoid. Um, you have to jump at the right timing, or they will actually just kill you. Once more helps, but a lot of the time it just completely ignores it. Oh, I got smashed by a building. Oh, no. <laughs> building to the face. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, unfortunate. Um, all right, we're going to want to just bonk, bonk. Bonk. All right. Oh, my God. That was so rude. He, he did that screen right at this health gate. Just... Just to freaking wreck me. Okay. Uh, nothingness is a turtle. Remember. It is a turtle. That's right. We just established this the other day. All right. Yes. The proof of non-existence is a turtle. The truth has come out. I didn't want to reveal it, but it's true. It, it, it's it's true. All right. Okay. Dodge the slash. Do my four finishers, do another slash. Now we're going to get bonked again. Now we are just going to, I think, just generally fly forward around where the, the furthest building on the right spawns. Yeah, you can get this building here, which I believe is the fastest one you can get. And do the double jump strat again. Now we just have to land and kill him. There's going to be a bunch of lasers as soon as we land, so I'm going to have my thumb ready to input limit. I want to block that or reflect it. Okay. I'm just going to burn session here. Not going to risk that. <laughs> this can get really dicey if you uh, if you're not too if you're not super careful. So, I'm just going to burn the limit, get the iframes and and just say it's done. Nice. Now, at the start of this next fight, we're going to have a... We're going to get grabbed. Uh, this is Zebra Zemnis, by the way. Uh, we're going to get grabbed, and we're going to be doing a series of reflects um, and reversals to get a crap ton of damage on him early. I missed that one. The timing is a bit different if you have Reflect 1 versus Reflera or Reflega. Uh, now we're going to want to uh, land... Uh, probably, he's not on the ground right now, so I'm probably just gonna, alright. 
So now we want to just watch out for his attacks. Uh, wait until he, I'm gonna want to try to wait until he uses Vine, uh, and then we're gonna want to just get a combo. Now I'm gonna activate Session. Session is an insane limit. Um, it just does so much damage and gets you full iframes and. It's with Riku, so that just makes it like 20 times better. Like, look at this damage. And uh, while we're in session, we want to use Ethers to replenish our MP. Oh, unfortunately, Laser Phase has started. Uh, laser Phase is, uh, as, it's, as it sounds, he's going to throw a bunch of lasers at us. Um, now we're going to want to use session again. Rinse and repeat. Um... Again, unfortunately, we're a little... We're basically at the bare minimum stats for this at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna want to find the real Xemnas. Use our li limit on him. Now, we want to make sure that we don't end... Oh, no! We, uh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Whew! I clutched it. <laughs> you want to make sure you activate the limit finisher at the end... Or, well, his actual HP bar is on screen. Otherwise, um... Um, your finisher will not do the damage it should. So, all Zen here. And we should just need one more good session. And it should be over. Alright, session. I'm out of items too, so I gotta finish it here. Or it's gonna get really dicey. Where are you? Alright. This is going to be really close if I don't get the finisher. Alright. This might be it. Alright. Uh, time is not yet. Uh, time is when he actually, like, dies. And the, the sound plays. But we have effectively won. Yeah, nice. We're good. Uh, I couldn't skip the dome, which is possible in Rando, um, even though his HP looks like it should be gone. Um, it's possible to skip this part um, if you do a proper session uh, at the right health range, but I didn't quite have it. Yeah, that final fight can be really scary if you uh, if you don't have the right stats and the, the Reflera. Um, doing it with base Reflect is hard, and... I think I did pretty well. Um, no deaths on the final boss, which is what really matters, right? <laughs> Ignore all the all the ones before it, and we're fine. <laughs> Look, we had a schedule to keep. I couldn't just not die. <laughs> no, that final fight is so cool. We get to see the cool laser dome, the cool sequence. All right. So, Sora and Riku are gonna blast him. Riku. Riku! Friendship beam! <laughs> You're gonna lose it all, he says. Alright. And time! That's it! <laughs> GG's. Congrats. That is Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Randomizer. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I had a great time. This was super fun. Uh, <laughs> not the cleanest end game, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Again, this is still critical mode. One mistake still kills you. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not... I'm, not, I'm not too sad about it, pretty much. I can actually turn on the death counter on the tracker. I, it might mess up a little bit on the overlay, but de 20 deaths. You know what? Not terrible. Not terrible. <laughs> uh, okay, well... Uh, that's mostly it for me. Um, I don't know if there will be words for... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there'll be words from the the higher ups of Fangi Marathon, the the gods, so to say. <laughs> Hello. Oh my God, it's oh God! No, it's the God. Oh. Hey, what's up? I just came down from heaven to check up on the run. Oh yeah, no, we just finished. It was a great run. Oh yeah, no, I could, I could see it from all the way up there. Do you have any more commandments for us? No. 
I yeah. gave up a long time ago. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, ten's enough. <laughs> <laughs> but congrats on your run. It was a little bit underestimate, so I think it was it was decent. Nice. Yeah, no, we'll take that. Um, do you have anything else that you would want to show in the game while we have some additional time sitting around? Um, not that I can think of. I was trying... Okay, I was trying to prepare some, like, level one boss fights. Like, level one super bosses. Uh, for mm -hmm. just in case I finished really far under estimate. But then I realized maybe three hours isn't long enough to learn level one super bosses. <laughs> <laughs> so I, like... I had a file that I was playing a little bit, and I, I quickly realized that I don't I don't think I would have anything showcase worthy. Um, so I just didn't really have I didn't think about it fast enough. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we can just transition over, and then uh, next run definitely has some like extra content and stuff in the game, so that can probably be filled there. Awesome. No, um, that sounds <laughs> that but, sounds great. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna shout out your stream and everything, both of you, and you know, let people know where to find you and all these randomizer stuffs and oh. whatnot? Oh gosh, um, I don't know much to say about me. I play RPGs on the on on Twitch.tv slash Wootiful. I play all the Final Fantasy games, all of them, every single one. Uh, but no, uh, this randomizer is amazing, and this game is amazing. What I have to shill is. Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Play this game. If you didn't really give it a shot because, oh, the story is silly, it's a, it's a Disney game, this game is one of the best action games I have ever played. Um, and you can get the randomizer. If, if you just look up KH2 randomizer, uh, there's a link to a GitHub, which has a whole host of resources for helping you learn randomizer. Is it okay if I like send you a link to post, Polsk? Yeah, I uh, mean, you, you should be able to post it yourself. Oh, you okay. Yeah, um, so this is the official website where you can download uh, trackers and all that goodness. Uh, you can download trackers, you can download the randomizer, you can, you know, find basically anything you would want about Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer. It's a great starting place. Uh, no, give this game a shot if you, if you haven't already and you're interested. It's great. And the randomizer is great, and big recommends from me. Uh, Mikan, how about you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mikan. I play games sometimes, and not this one, but it's okay because I had fun anyway. I can't. Yeah. No, it's great having you on. Always. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a game tonight, actually, in this marathon. <laughs> yeah. So you'll be seeing Mikan in s several hours from now. Oh gosh, I should nap. <laughs> Good night. Well, we will uh, we will send it over um, to the transition scene and set up the next run. But thank you both for being here. Grats on the run. Well, thank you for having me. It was it was super fun. Excited to see more of the runs. Uh, excited to see the next run as well, which is uh, the Cardinal House by Bootstrap nineteen ninety eight, I believe, if I'm reading the schedule right. It sure is. Wow, I I'm so, I'm so good at this. Dang. <laughs> I did my research. All right. Have a good one. And we'll transition it over. <laughs>